Hey guys, what's the difference between GS Pay and WG Pay? Is one better than the other? Let's talk about it. Before we get started, GS and WG are separate pay scales. There's also GG among others, and you can search for both GS and WG jobs on usajobs.gov. GS is considered white collar jobs, and there are currently over 400 job series if you look throughout the website. And if you want to know more about each job series, you can look at the OPM job series handbook, which explains every series in depth. On the GS pay scale, you can see clearly that the grade starts at 1, it goes to 15, and then there are 10 steps. On the GS pay scale, the amount that you see listed is the annual salary. And we will notice when we shift to WG, we are looking at an hourly rate. And that's one of the differences. On the GS scale, the 10 steps can be moved through by waiting 12 months for the first three steps, and then two years for step five, six, and seven. And then for eight, nine, and 10, you have to wait three years in between each step. The entire journey from step one to 10 will last 18 years. Now WG stands for wage grade. And a more appropriate name for this would be FWS, the Federal Wage System. And the Federal Wage System comprises of about 30% of the federal government employees. And there are about 200 job series for WG, which range from 2,500 to WG 9,000. FWS, or WG pay scale, is used for what is considered blue-collared workers. These are individuals that are in the trades, a laborer, or someone in a craft. Think of a welder, or a plumber, or a cook, or a forklift operator. These type of workers would be in the WG pay system. Furthermore, the federal wage system is broken into three classes. The WS is the worker, the WL is the leader, and the WS is the supervisor. This pay scale also covers 15 grades unless you are looking at WS, which extends down to 19 grades. But they only have five steps compared to 10 steps with the GS pay scale. Also, how to advance from one step to the next is different than the GS pay scale. For the federal wage system, to advance to step two, you only need to wait six months. The third step, you wait 18 months. And then the final two steps, you wait two years apiece. So you can move throughout the entirety of all five steps in about six years. Furthermore, the pay is broken down into non-appropriated fund and appropriated fund. The amount that you will be getting paid is largely tied to your geographic location. This isn't just the city or the state that you're working in, but it really focuses in in that county area. So this can oftentimes work as a disadvantage. Say you're a WG worker in Alabama or Tennessee, and you're working in a more rural area, and the welders and plumbers or forklifters in that area are paid a lot less. Your pay will largely be tied and matched to the local area, and it will be negotiated on by unions. This is one reason why a lot of people feel the FWS pay scale should match identical to the GS pay scale. Let's take a look at Washington, D.C. So in this area, uh, WG grade 10 step 3 earns $32.99 an hour. A WL grade 10 step 3 earns $36.24 an hour. A WS grade 10 step 3 earns $42.88 per hour. Now, Washington, D.C. is a very high cost area. And still, the most an employee can make in this area by using this chart is about $60 an hour. Like I mentioned earlier, labor organizations are involved with the pay scale every step of the way. If you're curious how much WG workers make in your area, I will leave a link below in the description where you can pull up the pay scale and check based on your zip code. Another point of controversy is that the cost of living increases are not matched, and oftentimes, a GS employee will receive their cost of living allowance before a WG employee, or that the GS employee has a higher increase in their cost of living allowance. The federal government 
tries to mirror the private sector when it comes to determining pay for the white collar and the blue collar workers. If you want to learn more about the GS pay scale, check out my video above. I was actually quite surprised that the federal government still uses the terminology of blue collar and white collar worker. I never really visualized jobs in that way. Like, oh, this job is blue collar, this job is white collar, this job is whatever color. And there's nothing written that one pay scale is better than another pay scale. But from my research, I believe you can earn more if you are on the GS pay scale. But then again, I've never worked in a WG job. If you worked in a job that was in the federal wage system, please share your experiences down below. If you're still on the job hunt, which job are you hunting for? A GS job or a WG job? Or does it matter? Are you just trying to get into the federal government? Well, that wraps up my video on GS pay versus WG pay. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.